Hey YouTube, I'm back for another review. Um, haven't done one of these in a while, so this is going to be a bit fun. I want to get back into it again because, like, lately on social media, like on Facebook, I've been joining these groups, and it's been fun, like discussing, um, dis um, discussing movies and all that sort of stuff, and I. I've been really enjoying it, just expressing my opinions and hearing others' opinions. So it'd be cool to do that for another um, platform, for a video, and that's YouTube. I'm sorry about my hair and that. Like, I just woke up and I just thought, you know what, just smash out a review for them real quick. Because um, I just miss it, you know. It's, it was fun back in the day to do this stuff with my brother and that. Um, but yeah, I had to sleep on this movie. Yeah, I couldn't, I didn't want to just do a review right away because I had so, I had, many emotions, I uh, felt really angry after watching it, and that that might have been more entertaining for you, but it might have been hard for me to get my points across, so I was like, alright, nah, fuck that, I'm just gonna just sleep on it, you know, just think about it more, and it's still like, it has fucked in my head a bit, and uh, I don't know how this review is gonna go, I don't, there's just so many directions I can go with this review, there's so many things I could say, but, you know, we'll just see what happens. So, this movie, it was, right, I'd say it's pretty alright, um, until it become like, until, like, the end, and, and once you see the ending, it makes you, st it, it, it makes you hate the, all the rest of the movie as well then, you know, because this is what happened when I first watched it, like, oh, I was enjoying the first two acts, then when the third act came and I found out who was going to be Leatherface, I fucking hated it um, because, you know, they play up this whole mystery thing because um, the children, like, the children of the mother, I forgot the mother's name, you know, who raised, like, Leatherface and all that. Um, when he's a kid, he's called Jed and they all get taken and they're, they're put into a mental home and they give, they give them, like, the doctors and they give them fake names so they, you know, they um, lose contact of their previous families or whatever. So they give them fake names. So their previous families can't look them up or whatever and find out where they are. Sorry about that. I just had to clear my throat. Just got a bit of a throat sickness at the moment. Cough and all that stuff. It's fucking terrible. But um, yeah, so we don't really know who who will end up being Leatherface, they kind of make you think it's this other guy, and I wish they went with that person, because he seemed more like Leatherface, you know, um, but the character who they go with is just like, it's just fucking stupid, it's like, why do you pick him, he's nothing like Leatherface, it's, oh, it's so fucking annoying, if you're a big fan of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I say just avoid this movie, like, it's just going to piss you right off, um, so just don't put... Just don't do that to yourself. You, you, you literally, you might punch the wall, man. Because that's what I did, man. I shouldn't have done it, but I did it. Because I was like, fuck this shit, man. I'm just going to fucking smash the wall. <laughs> At least I didn't put a hole in it, but man, I was pissed off. Um, but yeah, just stay clear of this movie. It just fucks up the whole origin story. And I don't, I just feel like this movie was just like a cash cow. Like, they just did it for the money because why not? It's fucking leather face. Let's, let's. Let's just keep on, like, milking that cow till it's got nothing fucking left. And it's just a fucking dry fucking cow and it's got no more milk. And just what's coming out of the udders now, it's just fucking dust. That's what it seems like, because we got, um... I don't know what year it was, but we got Texas Chainsaw Massacre, um, the beginning, and that was an origin story. So they're like, nah, we're going to just double dip, even if it fucks up the whole, um you know, the whole storyline between all the movies, we're just going to make another one. And I always thought, like, Leatherface, he was born with the disease, and, like, well, that's what they tell you in the other movies, like, he was born with a disease or whatever, and, you know, he was he was always like that. But, nah, he starts out as a normal guy, talking. You know, he's actually a nice guy. He's got humanity, but when you watch other movies, Leatherface has no fucking humanity. He's, like, one of the most evil characters and like all horror like cinema you know so it's like i don't know they just fucked up his character and the reason why this guy turns evil 
and becomes Leatherface is stupid as well. It's over a girl. And it's over something so small as well. It's like, what the fuck, man? You guys really fucked up there, didn't you? Really fucked up the character. I don't know, like... They... I don't know, why can't they just do it fucking a normal Leatherface movie? Why did they have to try and be, like, so... They had to try and be so smart with it. It's fucking Leatherface. You, it's, you don't need to try and be so smart. Like, oh, let's let's try and make this convoluted plot so, you know, pe like people appreciate the character more. Nah, it just makes me fucking pierce. It's nothing like Leatherface. You know, the movie does. Uh, it's nothing like Leatherface. This movie doesn't even feel like a Texas Chainsaw. Um, uh, my tongue's getting twisted. Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie, you know, like, for the majority, it's just, like, you're just following these characters and they're on a chase because they got, they, they snuck out of a mental home and, you know, the main guy, the main guy, um, who, who ends up becoming Leatherface, he doesn't even act like Leatherface, so you don't even think it's him, you know, like... I, I just don't, I don't want to even talk about it anymore. I don't want to waste, like, my day. I don't, this review's been gone for six and a half minutes. I hope, I hope that review made sense anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of there, because, you know, like, I just don't want to give this movie the time of day. It just, just know this, it fucks up the character of Leatherface. You know, I, I, at first, I appreciated the movie, but once they revealed who Leatherface was and who the character was... Um, who would grow up to be Leatherface just fucking pissed me off, you know. And I'll, I'll add this as well. It's just a typical, like, certain characters just play dumb so they can get the kill for the movie. And that just pisses me off as well, you know. Like, I, it's, like it's not even, like, dumb. It's, like, really fucking retarded dumb, you know. It's like, oh, in real life, you wouldn't act like that and you wouldn't do that. You know, because in the opening scene, right, I don't think this is a spoiler because this is the opening scene and you've seen it in the trailer. There's like this kid in the middle of the road, this this couple stops and he's wearing a cow mask and this chick just out of nowhere just starts chasing after him. Um, and he looks, he's dressed up in a fucking heel Billy Killer suit and you think that's trustworthy? You're fucking retarded. And then she goes into the barn where he is, he's hiding from her and she's like, oh, I'm here to help you. Why the fuck do you want to help him? He doesn't look like he's in trouble. He looks like he wants to fucking kill you. You fucking retard, man. Man, this movie's just fucking dumb. And that's not the only scene. There's so many. But I'm not going to get into that. Like, you, if you guys want to find all that shit out, you can just watch the movie and put yourself through that torture. But I don't want to even talk about the movie anymore. I just want to wipe it clean from my head. That's it for me, man. I'll give it... I know, like, when I first watched it, right, when I first watched the two acts, the movie was leading up to be, like, a solid three-star movie, but once the ending happened, I don't know, I have to deduct a few stars from it, because basically the ending fucked over the rest of the movie, so when, when you look back at it, and you look back at the characters, and you find out who's Leatherface, it just makes you hate the rest of the movie as well, so I'd give it one and a half stars out of five, basically pretty much a mediocre movie. But some pretty cool kills. Some pretty cool blown gore. So anyway, have a nice day. Like and subscribe if you want to. I hope this review kind of helped you out. Help you decide if you want to watch it or not. But yeah, that's all for me. Have a nice day.